Welcome to MathX. Uh, we have this weird looking equation with a lot of twos everywhere. And I can think of two ways to solve this equation. Uh, one of them is to expand the equation. It will take a lot of time. So we'll have an equation with the power of four. So we expect four solutions. If you can guess uh, the values of one of the equations, so for example, x equals two is one of the solutions. We could guess that, right? So once you expand it, you divide this by x minus two, then you will have a cubic equation, okay? And then you need to repeat the process, guess a value, divide it, and then you'll have a quadratic equation. But are we gonna do this in this video? No, because we have a smarter way of dealing with this. So let's assume x squared minus two is y, okay? If this is y, okay, it will be y squared minus two equals x. Well, the two equations look very similar. And if we subtract the two equations, okay, we will get rid of this negative two. So let's do that, okay? If I subtract the two equations, so we're gonna have x squared minus y squared equals y minus x, okay? So, and then in case we have listeners that don't speak English, we subtract the thumb, right? The first equation minus the second equation, and this is what we got. Now, I have a question for you. You see, this one, okay, I could expand this as x minus y, okay, x plus y, the product of the two things, and this one untouched. So the same thing. Okay, I have a question for you. You see, can I divide both of these sides by x minus y? Can I do that? Can I go write x minus y here and here x minus y as well? Uh, your answer is yes or no. Well, if I do this, I get rid of one of the solutions, okay? Let's see. Now, x minus y, 0 equals 0 is one of the solutions. So we're going to have y equals x. Why is this one of the solutions? Well, let's try, okay? So instead of y, I'm going to go put x. So this will be x x minus x, zero. Instead of this, I'll have x squared. So this will also be zero. So this is one of the solutions, okay? So now I am allowed to go and divide both sides by this. Okay, this will be one. This will be negative one, right? So we're gonna have x plus y equals negative y. So y would be negative one minus x. Okay, so we'll have these two, okay, uh, solutions. And let me do some cleaning here. We actually need just one of these. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this because we no longer need this. Okay, this is enough. 
So let's continue with this equation, okay? Case one, I'm gonna write case one. Is x equals y. So the equation will, will turn x squared minus two equals x. So x is squared minus x minus two equals zero. So let's write it as product of two things equals zero. Okay, to get x squared, we're gonna have x times x. So we want a number that the product of them are negative two and some of them is negative one. See, maybe two times negative one, maybe these two, or maybe negative two times one, okay? The sum of negative two and one is negative one. So I'm gonna go with this, okay? So I'll be writing it as x minus two, x plus one, okay? So we have two values for x. x will be this being zero, two, and x being negative one. So these are the two values, and this was case one, so this case closed. So we're gonna have the same one, the, the second one, this is gonna be case two, okay? So, uh, the same equation here, instead of y, I'm gonna go negative one minus x. So we're gonna have x squared minus two equals negative one, negative x. Both of them to the left hand side, we're gonna have x squared, okay, mine plus x minus one equals zero okay oops good so quadratic formula negative b which is going to be negative one plus minus square root of one squared one minus four times negative one plus four divided by two, a, a is one, two. So the values of x would be, again, two values, x could be either negative one plus square root of five over two. That would be the third solution. And we're gonna have another one, which is gonna be the same thing, but a little different, I'm gonna have negative one minus the square root of five over two. This is gonna be the last solution. So if you found the video useful, you know what to do.